Welcome everybody to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's episode. As always, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. We have a ton of content for you guys coming out every single week, uh, every single day generally. Uh, occasionally miss a day like I did during the uh, rodeo that is still ongoing right now. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I hope all of our patrons out there are appreciating the the uh, patron-only exclusive videos we're putting out with the dice class, putting one out every couple of weeks. And uh, if you're curious about that, go ahead and check the description down below. Once I get this whole live stream thing figured out, I'm probably going to do a live stream on the patron site as well, one on the regular site, one on the patron site. I do have the new computer for it. Theoretically, I have everything ready. I'm just so busy currently with this uh, rodeo. And uh, a uh, one of our fans asked a question a little while back about ways to to uh to tip us to show appreciation to us without being able to without having to to uh sign up as one of our patrons and at the time we did not have any way of doing it but i have managed now to uh get us signed up with a site called uh buy me a coffee as i'm sure some of you guys have noticed from some of our videos louie and i are both uh, pretty heavy coffee drinkers so if you're curious about that as well go ahead and check down below in the description as well. We would definitely appreciate any cups of coffee you're willing to pick up for us. And uh, don't forget to email us with any strategies, questions, suggestions, anything at all. We love shooting those videos for you guys. I actually haven't gotten a new email in about two weeks. And uh, also, don't forget, anybody that may be interested in one of the uh, small Sin City Living neons that we have, just email us that as well, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Otherwise, gonna go ahead and get into today's episode. And for today's video is going to be the final video in our uh, discussion. This isn't even really uh, like demonstration videos, I mean, just discussion. So I know some people haven't been fans of these videos. Sorry guys, definitely not gonna be for everybody, uh, like all of our videos. Um, the, the final one in the core strategies, there are four core strategies to craps. We've talked about this many, many times. And every strategy out there is just a blend of these various strategies. So now we're gonna go into the fourth strategy which is kind of a catch-all it's kind of the catch-all it's the randoms I call it thank you everybody by the way for the coffees really appreciate that um, and this one is basically again the catch-all people that only play the field I've seen it only play the field sometimes you can again just get lucky just like in any other strategy any other strategy the right rolls come you get lucky you hit it no different than say playing roulette you know play roulette then you only play like eight numbers well Sometimes you're going to hit and you're going to win big. If you only play the field and you only play the field all the time, you're going to lose and you're going to lose fast because uh, you're getting paid even money for the most part. The odds are, are pretty strongly against you. The field is not a bad bet. Um, but uh, uh, then again, if you only play, you know, if you play craps for four hours a day, every day for six months, you're going to lose because the odds, again, are against you. Um, you're just looking for those, the big win. And again, this is supposed to be entertainment. So the field is one of the catch-alls of the random strategies. This, by the way, will be the quickest video if I didn't already mention that. Um, and then the other one is going to be center action. Center action, and I know, I hope some of you guys have seen some of our videos of the worst strategies I've ever seen. Like the guy that just does everything as hops, doesn't even know what he's betting, doesn't know what they pay, doesn't know how to bet it, ends up betting the same thing all in the same role you know, to four different bets in order to bet a $20 high low kind of thing. Um, because again, he doesn't know what he's betting. Um, or, you know, eight bets to end up with a $50 world bet. He could have just bet with one bet. But again, he doesn't actually know what's in a world. He just thinks it's kind of cool. He doesn't, he did, I, I'm not kidding when I say this guy doesn't know what a high low is. But he'll bet it. He'll bet the hell out of it. He'll bet a high low, then he'll bet a 12. Then he'll bet a two. Um, so, you know, those strategies, strategies that are only based in the center action, that is also part of the, the catch-all, right? Now, this one, the random, the catch-all, the, the little bit of everything, you know, these, these field bets, you know, these field chunkers, or these, these you know, high-low and yo people, or the, the C&E people, you know, depending on the strategy, some people, their, their strategy is based off parlays. They're going to bet these center action things, and then they're going to parlay them if they hit. Um, you know, hop the three-way sixes, stuff like that. But then other people, they're they're betting these to bring them on down, 
right? So if they hit just once, they bring them down, and maybe they do another bet, or they just collect. You know, they just collect their money and, and keep on going. I've seen people that bet a 12 every roll. They're, they're cheering when they win the, you know, $5 out 12. They cheer when they win $150, and the dealers usually, once we notice that somebody is, is betting the exact same hot bet every single time, um, we, we will actually keep track in our head. And you know, these people start cheering that they just won 150 bucks, and it only costs them 210. Um, so, you know, if you bet it every single roll, it's not going to, not really going to favor you. If you're, if you're a huge fan of the, the center action and the hot bets, you should look for our video that's coming out where I re-discuss why roulette is actually your game. I've talked about it in other videos, but if your entire strategy is based around the center action, roulette is actually your game, not craps, and you should be playing roulette because the payouts are better. Uh, so the catch-all, the random, field, center action, parlays, even hardways, even hardways, you know, dollar hardway. I actually had, and not exaggerating here, the other day, I had four hard tens come out back to back to back to back. Not a single person was on the hard ten. Nobody ended up betting it either until the fourth one because one of us mentioned, holy cow, that's four in a row. Um, that would have been an awesome parlay, by the way. That, uh, I mean... <laughs> Not a whole lot of people are brave enough to parlay it from one to eight bucks and then parlay it from eight bucks to 64 bucks and then parlay it again and again, uh, which would have hit table max, but, but uh, or at least come really close to it. Um, so not, not a lot of people are that brave, but that would have been an awesome payout. That, that, that was just kind of cool. That was just one of those things like, I can't believe that actually just happened. Uh, so typically this random, this catch-all, is, is actually broken up into pieces and used and added to, to other strategies. You know, various hedges, you use you know, hot bets to hedge or hard ways to hedge, um, or at least partially hedge against, say, behinds and don'ts and stuff like that. Uh, but the, the randoms, the catch-alls, if it's the core strategy, if the only strategy that somebody does, and we see this every day, where their only strategy is the field, or their only strategy is in its interaction, it's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hands down the worst of the four core strategies. So I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening. We're going to have a video eventually, not probably not too long from now, where we're going to go ahead and combine all four videos into one longer discussion on this. Thank you, thank you everybody for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now. So, as I promised, I wanted to go over very briefly our uh, um, upcoming attempts at a third a third test live stream. So what's happened so far, the first test live stream just flat didn't work. The problem that I had was a, a uh, was an equipment problem. I had an equipment problem in that the, the um, equipment that I was using to translate the camera into streamable video to the computer uh, required a, uh, a uh, better USB port than the, the computer I was using at the time. So that one just flat failed because it would not translate into the computer. The computer would not pick it up, would not read it, so I wasn't able to live stream it. So then, as I was looking through, because I'm a little bit of a, a tech head, as I was looking through all of my other stuff, because I do have, have uh, four laptops here and three computers, um, I did find one that actually did have the newer style USB port. Unfortunately, it was actually my oldest laptop, but I figured what the heck. Let me give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? And this time around, when I fired everything up, the video was actually translating onto the computer. So things were looking better. But then when I attempted to live stream, the computer was not powerful enough to be able to translate it and then upload it sufficiently. So it basically just uploaded a blank screen for the, the live stream. So what I am going to have to do is, and I've already looking into all of my options, I'm going to upgrade my computer so I can add, what, a seventh, eighth computer to my household? <laughs> um, and I'm going to go much, much higher, and I'm going to get a computer that is far more than I need for this, far, far, far more powerful than I need for this. That way, any future upgrades that I may do, the computer will be able to handle it. Um, so unfortunately, this, this computer is going to cost me about 25% uh, more, about 25% of what I've already laid out in uh, in all the equipment for uh, for this channel so uh, it wasn't something I could just instantly buy I'm probably looking at Black Friday or Cyber Monday so hopefully I have it within the next couple of weeks and then I'll do another test live stream and and see if I can 
go from there. So um, I will definitely do at least one weekly live stream on our Patreon uh, because they're the ones that are, are really helping us uh, get this computer um, and the other equipment that I'm, I'm going to get because I figure if I'm buying the computer I might as well buy the most high-end capture cards and, and things along those lines get everything as, as uh, good as possible and then hopefully eventually get a uh, better microphone for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand on the live stream. As soon as I have the computer and I do the test, which will be in a few weeks, uh, like I said, I've got to order it in a week or two, then I have to wait for it to ship. Plus we have probably the biggest event of the year coming up, the NFR National Finals Rodeo. So I'm basically working two weeks straight, as is, uh, as is my wife. So not going to have a whole lot of time. Uh, but once we get all that under control, then, uh, then we'll figure out there's been some schedule changes to myself, some schedule changes to my wife, and some upcoming schedule changes to my wife as well. So hopefully we can get all the scheduling figured out so I know when I'll be able to live stream as well. Uh, my initial plan of Thursdays at 6 o'clock is already out the window. I'm at work at that point uh, now. So we will get it all figured out, and we will let you guys know, I promise. And... Uh, Otherwise, I hope you guys have found this interesting, enlightening, illuminating, or at least just plain fun. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.